Okay, so welcome back to more Red Dead 2. You know, i got to say, I absolutely loved that uh, last mission we did. And having that fishing trip with uh, Dutch and Hosea. I mean, that was... Well, like, when they, were, they were all singing and everything. Like, talk about immersion and, like, uh, getting invested in the characters and everything. It's, it's pretty awesome. I, I, it, was a, it was a nice moment, you know. I actually changed up my outfits. I think this sort of suits the area we're in right now. So I'm going to roll with it for a bit. And... I said I was going to shave and get a new look going for chapter 3, but um, to be honest, the beard's grown out and it looks kind of badass, so I'm going to I'm gonna keep it going. Alright, so let's see what we got in terms of mission. We've got, we got this one over here in camp. Sadie. Oh no, Mr. Pearson. Further questions of female suffrage. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm going to kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. You put that knife down or you're going to be missing a hand. Lee. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I love Arthur, man. So, Miss Adler, I was wondering what happened to her. We haven't seen her really since um, cool down, then, yeah. the beginning. Guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Woo! <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Is that it? 
Are we moving a bit forward? Uh, maybe. Clearly, we ain't in that much of a rush. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. All right, nice. So the mail icon minimap shows... Okay. So that's over here. What do you want to bet that she's gonna shoot up that store okay this icon will display if there is mail ready for collection at the post office okay do I have my horse not again. oh I guess not okay well, did you get there, well I guess we're running then this is a really nice looking area so I, I guess miss Adler like we've got an I guess her story arc begins in this chapter because we haven't really seen her since the beginning of the game you know so I was wondering what was going to happen with that how do you do sir all right can I help you mister yes I would like to post a letter all right hello all right nice okay no trouble Thank you. Bye. Go back to the wagon. Oh, you know what? I could pay my bounties right here. I've got a lot of bounty here. I've got uh, a lot going here. We've got a lot of money, so... And I can do... Like, I can get it back pretty easily, so... So I'm just going to... So to pay all, it's 195. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do that. Nice. At least it's done now, you know? We don't have to worry about that. You ain't paid to stand around like saloon whores. How do you do? Madam. Do you know, you get honor if you do that enough times, I guess. I mean, it's popped up before, but my honor's pretty low at the moment. Or it's, it's about halfway, you know? I'm, I'm trying to be as good as I possibly can, you know, for an outlaw, but... Uh... Oh, is she, has she got a different outfit now? Oh, a dog! Oh, please let me pet him. Please let me pet him. Oh, I can! Are you going to pet him? Oh, you know what? That makes me, that makes me so happy that you can pet the dog, man. You don't need to check if I'm doing it right. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just get on the wagon, okay. Hop on. I'll be right with you. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you. My husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, Sadie. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? 
How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh, oh man. Go. God damn it. Oh, nice. Woo. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna... oh no! Oh, she ran him over anyway. That's. Oh, there's one guy behind me. Oh, my dead eye increased. I don't remember asking you to prove it. Oh, come on. Nice. Lady, you are a hero in this far too much. Shooting. All right, I'll drive us back. Oh, man, that was pretty sweet. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yeah. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asked. But... Hey, watch him. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. Oh man, l l look at the sunset going on right now. Yeah. This really is a beautiful game, you know. We haven't even explored. Like, I don't even think like half the map yet, you know. Oh, looks like we're going down here. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants. Oh, I got silver on that. Nice. Let's uh, have a look. Okay, fend off Lemoyne Raiders in less than one minute. Oh, sweet. Five headshots, 85% accuracy without taking any. Okay, nice. Well, that was a pretty short mission, so <clears throat> we got some stuff in camp. I could actually go ahead and do one of these, show you one of these robberies real quick. There's one over here, and then there's some. There's a debt over there I could do, but um, I'm not. I'm gonna show you one of these robberies right here. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or? English lovers, Arthur. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, 
In that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Do you know he stole my line? Cool, you hear me? He stole my line about hating everyone just the same. I always say that. <laughs> he's, he's got some great quotes Come there. Alright, let's do this. Look out. Morgan. I'm really excited for this next chapter, man. It's gonna be. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. Alright. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon, mate? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off, Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm here to no more. You're out throwing lead with Sadie Adler. Helping the law chase down criminals? All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Yeah, you usually get a lot of money from these, oh, so... It's, it's, it's definitely worth doing, you know. <clears throat> I know, because they come with cutscenes and everything, they do seem like main missions, but they're actually not... Keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. 
Hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, the camera was a little close there. I, I usually didn't have it set up that close. Last time I did one of these, it was with uh, Javier. Look, there's one on the outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Hang back where, Lord we'll just I'll just stay here then, I guess. Oh, follow behind you, okay. Hey there. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna give you about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. I just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. Now a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest Oh, man. Alright, let's get into cover. Are they all in there? Nice. Oh, what a sneaky bugger. He, like, sneaked up on me, man. Oh. Threaten the outlaw. Alright. If you want to live, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. All right. The homeowner has revealed a secret Don't stash look. spot to you. Don't look back. You will often find the best option won't be immediately killing everyone you come across. Okay. Well, let me just grab everything before we do that. Always need some cheese, you know. Oh, here we are. You got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? You can't carry any more. Okay. Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Yeah, all right. Double action revolver. Oh, no, I got a new gun. Yeah, these are really Why worth doing, man. Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Well, there's a money clip right there. 15 bucks, okay. Hey, it's over there. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Oh, there's something else to take right there. I want to loot absolutely everything, you know? Is he just walking into the wall? Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. You can discover homesteads by exploring the world. There will often be lucrative opportunities. Find at homesteads and the method to make off. Okay. It always disappears before I can read it, you know. Oh, I got another card. It looks like that. Senator Thaddeus 
Nice. So cigarette cards. Yeah, I I've got like one more of those. You're you are now hot. Well, hot your health call will drain faster. Change clothes to cool down. Oh wow. Oh, is it because I'm standing near the fire? Is there something else there? Yeah, those cigarette cards are like hidden in places like this. I've actually got one more from like it was actually another robbery I did. Oh, there's. All right, nice. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, I want to make sure I've gotten everything, you know? If there's not anything else hidden. All right, no, I think we're good. All right, yeah, I just wanted to mix in this little thing in here. I mean, they're pretty much main missions, man. Let's loot him. Nice. Well, let me get a little bit... I would go first person, but... Uh, you know. Alright, I think... Yeah, because that's ended the mission there, so... Let me see. Oh, there's a stranger right there as well. How far away? What is that there? Leopold Strauss? Oh yeah, that's the debts as well. So we got one with Dutch here. American Distillation. Sheriff Gray asks you Dutch to go back and see him sometime. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one next. When we come back next time and then I'll probably go ahead and do this one. Alright, cool. So as always, guys, if you watch this, I really appreciate it. My guys, Arthur's really hot right now. Um, please drop some likes if you do, and I will see you very soon. Alright, take it easy.